Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to take a look at some very small projects. These are part of larger projects that we're working on. First off are these uh, basic tabletop level uh, Black Templars Primaris Marines, which are work in progress. I've uh, put on some some little corking on their bases to give them some character. These are really amazing figures. They definitely show the complexity creep in Games Workshop figures because, you know, there's just like so much more detail on these guys than the uh, old, uh, the older sculpts. And uh, of course they're elite, but you know, you get the idea. So here's a guy on an actual 25 millimeter base, here's a 32, and then here's a 40 millimeter that the blade guard come on so definitely a lot more complexity there definitely love this banner bear he is uh, he is certainly a lot of fun he has a lot of detail on him uh, I think the client who provided these assembled I think he used some sort of specialty helmets on them I'm really not sure uh, I painted these up usually I've got like some spare or trade models going while I'm working on something else and um, so uh, these are some Screamers, just the, the absolute most basic paint job you could possibly imagine on these guys. A little bit of purple in the recesses, yellow eyes for contrast. I picked up this uh, new Verdigris paint. Well, the paint's probably not new, but it's new to me. It's uh, the super pale blue-green stuff, and uh, I really like it. It made these guys look kind of glowy, and it was a lot of fun. Also, for this Nurgle Carnival of Chaos army, here's some work in progress Beasts of Nurgle. Uh, supposed to have very clown-like appearance, and uh, overall I'm pretty uh, pleased with how those guys have shaped up. Oh, back here we have some Grishrox, Grishnok, Grishnox Raiders for uh, whatever it is, for Warhammer Underworlds. I absolutely love those figures. What I don't understand is if they can, like they're making these kits, producing them and then just throwing them away like they never make these models again and and I'm like well why can't you redo the Eldar with with that amount of effort and of course you know it has to do with scheduling and stuff like that but I said still all right anyway here we go and we still have some people playing uh, Warhammer Fantasy Classic on quadrilateral bases here's some skull crushers Love these figures. I mean, the Games Workshop line is just absolutely insane. Uh, got a banner bear over here. I need to freehand on some sort of chaos symbol on there. That's going to be fun. These are going to Finland, of all places, so that's fairly exciting. Last and definitely not least, got this wonderful Grey Knight's Dread Knight. And uh, this is fully magnetized, has tons of magnetized parts to it. There's a couple ways to magnetize this uh, kit, and this one's actually pretty good. Uh, you just magnetize these top pieces here, and then the smaller weapons on top of that, and uh, it works out, works out really nicely. This one has custom forest bases. We put some cool skulls on there, and I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with how that turns out. turned out. I really like making bases, because, I don't know, there's something like meditative about it. Anyway, I uh, just thought I would show you a few things, let you know that uh, we're still alive, still cracking, got a lot of things in the works. Uh, right now my count is 48 projects. I'd like to uh, ramp that, that up by a couple of projects. And uh, so thanks for tuning in. And I hope you got your inspiration for the day.